Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Sangun An in Shafaram Internet Seminary. Uh, this evening, I'm going to explain about amazing root system of holy oak tree. Holy oak tree, where Abraham put up altar to worship the Lord. Okay, see the roots, the, the right one, the green color is the size of the, uh, size of the oak tree, visible size of the oak tree, but uh, the size of the root is around three times larger, three times the larger than the tree, and this is the oak tree. The root of oak tree is wonderful and amazing. We are going to learn about the, the root, root system of oak tree. Okay, when the, the, the acorn of oak is sprouted, it grows very the short side of the visible stem and uh, several leaves only. But amazingly, the, the starting of growing focused on deep rooting first, okay? Root system of oak tree are symbolized, symbol of children of God. Again, the root system of oak trees are symbols of children of God. Number one, when an acorn first sprouts, most of its energy is spent on root development three to five times longer than little growth uh, above ground. Okay, see the, another picture. This is the oak tree. You see the size of tree and branches, but roots are spreading three times or four times the larger than the branch system. Number two, the initial root is the tap root which grows deep underground, seeking a dependable supply of moisture. Three, once this is accomplished, greater foliage and branch growth can begin. Soon the tap root is uh, surpassed by an extensive root system spreading horizontally. Uh, spread roots horizontally is amazing. Four, most oak tree roots may spread four to seven times the width of the tree crown. When two trees of the same species grow side by side, they can even share root system that have grafted together. They love each other. Okay, um, the, the oak trees are very good. Uh, they usually they are planted on the, the landslide prone area. When oak trees are planted, the vast spreading root are holding the soils firmly. So it prevent landslide. So this uh, widespread root, okay, prevent from the landslide during rainy season. So then, then we must consider this um, botanical understanding of the oak tree could be applied to uh, our Christian faith. Okay, theological nuance of great oak trees according to ancient Hebrew picture letters. Considering Genesis chapter 12, verse 6. 
the oak tree in Hebrew alone, alone, are frequently used as synonymous for any great tree, alone. Okay, in Genesis 12, it is applied to oak tree. But this alone, the word alone, may apply to another kind tree if it is grow tall. So alone, uh, used as synonymous for any great tree because the alone means uh, like this. Uh, Alep, Lamet, Vav, Vav, and Nun. Okay. Uh, Alep means Oxed. So Oxed, the image of Oxed is strong, strength, or powerful leader. Okay. Lamet, uh, step up, uh, past pastor, step up pastor, step up shepherd. And then it means shepherd. It can be applied to Lord God. And then Vav. It's tent peg. If it is a verb, put tent peg on the ground. Okay, if it is there, apply to tree, plant tree. Okay, Vav. The consonant Vav repeated twice. Vav, Vav means uh, plant tree firmly. This is the interpretation. And the final consonant is Nun. Fast moving thing. If it applied to plants, fast growing, fast growing or tall tree. And this is the interpretation. So the uh, translation of the alone could be number one, God, because Aleph plus Lamed becomes Al or El. It means God, mighty God. This is the meaning of El. El, God, planted firmly the vav vav and then growing tree noon refer to growing tree fast growing tree number two strong shepherd okay the meaning of l could be interpreted strong shepherd strong god alep plus lamet becomes l or al In vav Vav means planted firmly. And then Nun, making an oak tree tall. Make oak tree grow tall. This is the interpretation. So the meaning of Elon is this. God is the one who makes a tall oak tree grow, indicating that there is a spring water near hilltop, near the great oak tree area which is the ideal place to make a holy place so uh, this kind of great look at the picture this kind of great oak tree grow hilly area or the, just below the hilltop area shoulder part of hilltop area okay it's amazing what made this oak tree grow tall because there's a miraculous spring water because of spring water, uh, this oak tree can grow tall. So when the faithful people looking at this oak tree, great tall tree, uh, God made this tall tree grow. Uh, this is the uh, understanding. Okay. Uh, this oak tree during the time of Abraham, Abraham they made this oak tree as a symbol of the holy place. But as a human religion uh, corrupted, many pagans who practice uh, fertility god worship, they made this oak tree as a symbol of fertility. So look at this picture. What do you imagine? So this acorn the nuts of oak tree looking like a circumcised male. Okay, Israel people the, are circumcised ones. But these pagans just they try to mimic this the shape of the acorn as a symbol of fertility. 
but there is a deeper meaning. Okay, let me read uh, this English written material. Alive oak, oak trees have sturdy spiral trunks and deep roots that intertwine with neighboring tree. Pay attention, the word intertwine. Intertwining, the roots are intertwining. When two trees of the same species grow side by side, they can even share root system that have grafted together, okay? When the roots, two different the roots touched each other, then naturally they are grafted. They are grafted. So they grow together as the symbol of circumcised godly uh, community, godly community Israel. So uh, really, okay, imagine when uh, one of three oak trees uh, planted in dry area, then that tree might be withered, but because the root system connect each other, uh, they can share uh, moisture together, they can share the nutrition together. So, for example, in the middle or the right side, they have, they have the enough the moisture. The moisture can be transferred to the oak tree growing on dry area. So, they share each other, they help each other, they water each other, they nourish each other. So this oak tree, the botanical the system oak tree, really ideal to symbolize community life. Okay, the holy people Israelite, they put emphasis on the live together as a community, to love each other. Okay, so they are really loving each other. Okay. They are because they are sharing nutrition and moisture together by grafting, touching root system together. This is a, a amazing secret of the oak trees. Okay, this kind of the botanical life symbolizes also the inner food. The oak tree, inner food supplier in the Holy Land. Okay, God promised, I'm going to give you the promised land. The land is flowing milk and honey. Milk and honey is a supply of abundant food stuff. Okay, I'm going to explain about the acorn. Acorn of the oak, nuts of oak tree. Raw acorns have a bitter taste because of tannins. However, most of the tannins can be removed by soaking or boil in the water. The pe people who encounter acorn for the first time, they try to bite, they try to chew the acorn and then uh, they are disappointed because the taste is too much bitter because of uh, a lot of tannin. But they, they might think, oh, it's useless acorn, it's useless nuts. But, uh, we must be wise. As fallen acorns are fermented on the ground, okay? They are fermented as they dry on the ground, they are fermented. And naturally the bitter taste becomes sweet. Chestnut also, chestnut also, uh, when they are fresh, when you bite, you, you are disappointed because of bitter taste. But as you put them dried, fermented after two weeks or one month it becomes sweet that tannin tannin bitter taste disappeared and sweet taste comes alive this is a secret so they are the main food for all kinds of scorers scorers do you see this is small animal scorers so form the beating acorns in fact People have been safely consuming acorns for thousands of years. It becomes um, human food also. The acorn jelly 
has been Koreans' favorite food. Koreans believe that acorn jelly has a medicinal effect that removes harmful heavy metal components from the human body. So look at the jelly. Okay, it is smashed, and then you get uh, the component, and then boil them. It becomes acorn jelly. Delicious, nutritious as well. Acorns are highly nutritious. Acorns are especially high in potassium. Do you know the medicine effect of potassium? Icon, iron, iron, potassium, iron, vitamin A and E, and several other important minerals. There are over 60 botanical, there are 60 beneficial plant components. Uh, beneficial plant compounds in acorns, including potent antioxidant, antioxidant that can help protect your cells from aging or damage. These antioxidants are linked to numerous health benefits such as lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, and cancers. For they help the good circulation of the blood in the human body and they remove the bad fat, cholesterol, bad cholesterol from the aging human body. <clears throat> okay, in the book of Psalm 1, verse 1 to 6, it is written, Blessed are the one whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the stream of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away, therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. Okay, now you now you find there's a fruitful tree and then a uh, wicked, fruitless tree. So I wish you to be fruitful tree of God. Now we are living in pandemic situation. Okay, We are supposed to be fruitful even pandemic situation because there's a miraculous spring of God. Miraculous spring is the overflowing works of Holy Spirit, okay? Now, Christians compared like an oak tree planted near spring site. Because of overflowing help of Holy Spirit, we are growing, we can be fruitful, we can be um, successful even in pandemic situation. So, have this vision in your mind and pray and then you're going to enjoy, get the answer of your prayer. Okay, another Bible passage, Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 17 to 27. It is also the word about the judgment. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. The wise or the foolish. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Okay, look at two photos. Number one, the upper one, on the rock, hard rock, a palace is built. Palace is standing. 
it is in Yemen, uh, royal city, okay, and the lower Porto. This is Petra. Isa, Isa made this area his capital city. Uh, it's a rocky area. They made a house. They made a cave, become dwelling, dwelling place, safe dwelling place. Okay, now uh, we must make conclusion. Five elements of Abraham's holy place. I wish you to hold on one of the elements, one of one or two elements, at least one or two elements, uh, to become the blessed holy place of Abraham. Holy place, it means worship place. It's makom, in Hebrew, makom. Okay? Uh, number one element should be twin mountain tops. Always holy place, there is a twin mountain tops. The symbolic meaning, spiritual meaning of two mountain tops, two witnesses of Jesus. Okay. As long as you are the witness of Jesus Christ, you are the one who experienced power of salvation, power born again, and power of getting answer a prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, you are very safe. Okay, so we are one of the witnesses of Jesus. Okay, number two, there must be tall oak trees standing. Okay, we Christians must be growing like a tall oak trees. We can grow tall spiritually by the help of Holy Spirit. Be the, be the fast growing oak tree be the fruitful oak trees. Number three, spring water must be flowing there. Okay. Spring water, spring water of Holy Spirit must be flowing within us, within our bosom of heart. Only the works of Holy Spirit guarantee my Christian life be prosperous, be fruitful. Number three, number four, there should be a more. More means anointed teacher. More. Feminine form, mora. Okay? Original, the modern Hebrew, more, mora, referring to teacher in the school. But originally, more, referring to holy teacher, anointed teacher. They are prophets. Okay, as you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then you can teach gospel, you can share gospel, then you are spiritual more. Some spiritual leader always make dwelling place under the great oak tree. Okay, number five, the place where the manifestation of God is granted from time to time. Okay, this is the holy place. God appears. You, you can make your house, you can make your home holy place because uh, you are seeking the will of God, you are following the word of the Lord, you are walking with the Lord, and from time to time, the Lord appears to you. The Lord supplies divine wisdom. The Lord supplies divine understanding while you are reading Bible, and your spirit is inspired, your spirit is moved to understand the deeper meaning of the written word of the Lord. Uh, that's the, um, that's this, the, how we can grow in the Lord. A photo of mountain Arara, look at the mountain Arara. Okay, there is a higher mountain and a lower mountain, okay. It has two peaks. Twin peaks, Great Ararat, highest peak with an elevation of 5,137 5, meters high. The lesser Ararat with an elevation of 3,896 meters high. <clears throat> okay. The winter season covered with white snow, even in <clears throat> the springtime. Mountain time is still covered the white snow. Okay. 
So be like twin tops, be the witness of Jesus Christ. Okay, keep growing, grow taller, higher, reaching to the heaven. Uh, this is the this should be our imagination. Come nearer to God. Come nearer to God every day. Read your Bible every day. Then your faith will grow every day. Read your Bible and pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day as you grow, grow, grow. Be growing like a tall oak trees. And uh, be standing like a high mountain tops. And then have close fellowship, holy fellowship with the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. See you again in Jesus Christ.